What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. So the official anniversary celebration has begun. All the campaign information has dropped right now. News o'clock on the 20th PST time. Uh, dude, everything is coming out. So obviously we have a free multi-pool every single day leading up to the Kaido Sugo Fest. Now despite what we all think about the Kaido Sugo Fest, I also think it's a little bit of a disappointment. All of these celebrations surrounding the Sugo Fest actually is pretty insane. I'll be making separate videos about that, so make sure to check them out if you guys haven't seen them, but um, this video is going to include every single multi-pool along the way. The free multi-pool that will come with the Kaido Sugo Fest, I will be including that into the Kaido Sugo Fest video, so definitely look forward to that one, um, but everything else will be included right now. So, uh, we're going to be doing our free multi-pool. First thing is first, though, uh, the gem packs are live. So I've purchased uh, a bunch of these different gem packs here uh, I'm gonna go ahead over to the mail and pick up my rewards here So uh, there were two different packs you could purchase one of the packs would give you a Legend from 12 months of release and one of them would give you any legend in the game uh, And I believe it was all equal rates as well So I think for the anniversary pack the small pack I think it was like 1% chance 1 point something percent chance for any given legend in the game So of course we're looking for stampede loot that is the only legend that I would consider as new and usable at this point for me. I'm only missing Stampede Luffy and Kaido when he officially releases. So let me know down below in the comment section how your free multis have gone. And uh, if you guys purchased these gem packs, did you get anything good from them? So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and do the small pack. We'll do the large pack and then we'll get into our free multi. And then we'll move on throughout the days through our other multi. So here we go. Here's our first red. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. It's a red! It's a red! And it's gonna be... Oh my god, dude. I just pulled Carrot from the treasure map rewards. Um, this is crazy. For this being any legend in the game to be Legend Carrot, that's pretty good. That is actually really, really good. So I can use that for her support. So I only need one more copy for her to be completely maxed out for her support, which is good. So that's great. That's a really, really good pull. But now this is the one where we have an even higher chance to pull Stampede Luffy. I believe it was around a 4% chance, a 4 point something percent chance to get Stampede Luffy. So a little bit of a higher chance, but still you can get a lot of different legends from this gem pack here. Come on, let's see Stampede Luffy. Come on. That's what we want to see. Here is our gem pack, the large gem pack for the anniversary. Let's see it. Let's see it. Bring it home, Stampede Luffy. It's a red. It's a red. And it's gonna be... Oh my god. Dude, holy crap. What a pull. What a pull, dude. Okay, I'm actually really happy about that to have now an unevolved version of Bullet. So if there ever is a situation where I need his six-star form, I can actually have that now. But now I have a five-star version of the character, which is always nice to have an unevolved copy. You just never know when you're going to need it. So that's nice. Honestly, I didn't have an unevolved copy of him, so that is fantastic. Would have loved to have had that during the treasure map, actually, because his six-star form was really useful during the treasure map. But hey, that is is a fantastic pull. I really cannot complain about that whatsoever. So let's go ahead and favorite up the bullet. I'll go ahead and use carrot uh, in a minute for the support. But here we go. Here is our free multi-pull. As I said, every single day when you log in, you get a free multi-pull. You only get one free multi-pull during the Kaido Sugo Fest, but every single day for this Sugo, you will get a free multi. Uh, can we actually check the rates? I wonder. Let me go ahead and check the rates to see uh, what the rates is for any given legend. I assume that the banner legends are going to have a slightly higher chance. Uh, I don't know which one is which. I assume it's the top one. So looking here, yeah, all legends are actually... Oh, no, all, I was going to say all legends are equal rate, but no, you got Jinbei being a little bit slightly higher. Sanji and Pudding Duel Unit are on here. Are you kidding me? Yo, I still haven't pulled them yet. I would love to pull them. That would be awesome. Uh, what else do we have here? The Stampede Units. Wait, it looks like there's a limited pool of legends. Oh, these are only legends that have appeared in the past 12 months of release. That is actually really, really cool. I actually didn't even realize that. So it's pretty much like the New Year's banner, essentially. It's pretty much the New Year's banner. So that's really cool. So free multi-pull, uh, it would be awesome to get a red, just to get a slightly higher chance to potentially pull Stampede Luffy, of course. So let's see what this free multi has in store for us. Let me know down below in the comment section as well, as I said, what you guys have been getting from your free multis. But here we go. Let's go. Free multi-pull day one. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, as I as I expected, <laughs> as I expected. Okay, um, so I mean, what am I really looking for in terms of regular rare recruits? I have every other regular rare recruit, but pulling the stampede units would be nice, like this stampede Nami. Uh, would love to rainbow those guys out. Uh, obviously, because they're relatively newer characters, I don't have them rainbowed. Uh, also, just some of the more relatively newer stuff, like I know Sabo and Koala's batch, I haven't rainbowed everyone from that batch either. The first Stampede batch, the second Stampede batch. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've rainbowed these guys. I did a lot of pulls during the Luffy and Law Sugo Fest, so still a really cool character to see. Suleiman, it's a bit of an old one. Number seven. Diamante, sure. Okay, number eight. Okay, don't need that Brook. That Brook is kind of bad. Number nine. Stussy, I have her rainbowed as well. Number 10 is brand new, who I also have rainbowed. So what is our 11th pool going to be? It's a gold. And we are going to get Blue Gilly, which is not ideal. Okay, so that multi was nothing great. But of course, we'll be back again tomorrow, potentially getting some new characters. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoy this part. And I'll see you guys on day two of the free multi pools. So I'm going to include this in, in this video as well. So if you actually go to the Chopman missions uh, throughout the whole 4th anniversary, or 5th anniversary, my bad, uh, the whole 5th anniversary Chopman missions, there are certain requests that you can fulfill. And once you fulfill them, you actually get a bunch of regular rare recruit pulls so once you reach 30 different quests cleared it can be any quest in the game from turtles to fortnites raid bosses coliseums anything as long as you're clearing something you're going to be getting your hands on some items so once you reach 40 times which i haven't done so yet i'll get two rainbow gems and then you get a regular 5 million meat uh for 50 clears of any quest now i was just going ahead and completing the ivankov and the marco um, dungeons completing their chopper man missions i have fully completed all of them now so uh we can actually go ahead and check out our mailbox and we have 20 free rare recruit pulls now mind you it is three star or better so you are going to be getting some silvers here but we have 20 of them so from 20 pulls i am hoping to get at least one legend that would be awesome um it says recruitable as of february 20th so it's literally everything um up until the kaido batch so a lot of stuff is going to be available in this ticket in the in these tickets that is um but yeah we're just going to keep going through it, uh, it actually might take us a while to get through them, but honestly, at, at this point, uh, as you guys already know, I have everything in the game uh, in the regular rare recruit pool aside from Stampede Luffy. So yeah, legit, all of this is just kind of free stuff at this point. Uh, I know for many people out there, this is going to be really, really awesome to get your hands on a bunch of just free rare recruit pools. Um, I mean, we're getting some pretty decent stuff. We got Smoothie and then we got uh, Stampede Chopper um, back to back. That's actually really good. Both of those units definitely see play still in 2020. So, so far, tickets looking pretty decent. But of course, it would be nice to just sneak in a red. That would be absolutely bizarre. All right, let's see what our third one's going to be. Uh, okay, that's the old school chopper, the three day, three day, two year chopper. Not, not great, but um, you know, if we could get some more stampede rare recruits, that would be awesome. Considering that is one of the more recent batches that that came out, and I uh, haven't maxed them all out yet. We haven't even gotten a, a silver yet, which is pretty crazy. Hydrogen, that's the quick variation, I do believe. Yeah, it is. Okay, I can use that for sure. I haven't pulled him too many times, so that's good. When Bato and Cavendish came out, I didn't do that many pulls for that batch in particular, just because. Uh, uh, what was I saving for? I think Luffy and Law. Yeah, that's right. Luffy and Law were going to be coming out. So I was definitely saving for those guys. But um, yeah, that Hydrogen's really good. I just haven't had too many opportunities to really use him. But he does have a pretty good special. And we just got the Psy Rare Recruit Shanks just before. And there's our first Silver, which is not ideal. Um, it's going to be Nojiko. She does have a support ability, but her support ability is like, not the best anyway. But it's fine. It's fine. Um, I did see a lot of people tweet at me already that uh, their free uh, multis that they've gotten throughout the event period so far have been pretty good. I saw some people go, oh, there we go, Stampede Brook. Amazing. So these tickets are looking pretty good so far. Um, I did see people get uh, some pretty crazy stuff. Um, like lots of people got double legend multis. And of course, if you do get a red on those free multis, um, the reds are guaranteed to be characters from the past 12 months of release. So that's going to be from version one Big Mom all the way to now, which are uh, there's a lot of good characters there so it, uh, there's plenty of opportunity there for people to get some pretty crazy stuff um so far for us i mean we've got a couple of decent rare recruits i mean that doesn't count but we did get uh, the blue hydrogen the couple of the stampede units we did get smoothie as well so we've gotten some pretty decent units but uh, as i said you know we want to sneak in one of those reds what do we get now we get a gold again and we get 
uh, that's the Psy Mihawk from the Whitebeard and Marco batch. That is a throwback. Actually, you know, since the Whitebeard Marco batch has come out, I don't think I've ever used that yellow Mihawk in a team. Oh, we got a red! Come on, Stimpy, Luffy. I think uh, my, my recording software screwed up a little bit there. Because like, I got too excited when I saw a red. Damn, dude. Holy crap. That would have been absolutely insane. But we did get V2 Jinbei, which unfortunately is kind of like the nerfed version of Stampede Luffy. He boosts the same colors with his captain ability uh, and all that. So like, a lot of people, you know, make that meme. The fact that V2 Jinbei is basically a worse version of Stampede Luffy. Oh, that would have been so goddamn good. But look, as I said, we fulfilled the condition that I was hoping for. We did end up pulling a red, which is pretty hype. So let's see. Let's continue on here. We do have a couple more tickets to go. So uh, potentially we might pull something else here. We might pull something else. Let's see what we get. What do we get? We get another gold. And we get, um, what's his name? What's his name? Al Aladdin? 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 Also from the V2 Jinbei batch. Um, he's okay. He doesn't see much play. Uh, he was actually really good for the Ambush Sengoku, uh, which actually came out with V2 Jinbei. Like, because obviously Ambush Sengoku was basically built to be beaten by V2 Jinbei. And I really didn't like that whole event period, to be honest, with V2 Jinbei's release, because the way that that whole event period was, like, structured was using a lot of slot barriers. You know, the barriers where you need a specific orb to break that barrier. Area. Definitely one of my most hated mechanics in the entire game. I think that's an awful mechanic. The fact that you have to build your team in such a way to account for a very specific colored orb to appear on a barrier, I hate it. That's why I really hated Colosseum uh, Tamago. That was awful as well. Didn't enjoy that whatsoever. But Colosseum Tamago is a good unit though. But um, we did get Pell, uh, the, the Will of P, of course. All right, we're, we're, we're definitely getting towards the tail end of these tickets here. So can we finish off strong? What are we going to get? Uh, if we could sneak in one more red, that would be absolutely crazy. This is another good rare recruit pull. In terms of rare recruits, dude, we've actually pulled some some pretty good units, honestly. We really have. Um, so I highly suggest, you know, make sure to, you know, farm up uh, all these Chopman missions. It's not that hard to do. Uh, even if you're just farming for EXP on Turtle Islands, right, you're going to just get to these missions very easily. And we get another Stampede Brook. That's very, very good. Um, so we, how many do we have left? We've got three more tickets to go. Come on, can we sneak in another red poster? Can we sneak in one? Get another silver, which is not good. And we're going to get uh, Iceberg. Well, we've pretty much pulled just about every silver in the game. We haven't pulled the Onion Pirates. Who else is there? I mean, uh, the regular Straw Hat characters, I suppose. All right, what are we going to get here? Second last ticket. Oh, another red! Stampede Luffy? Oh. Oh. Damn, dude. <laughs> Another red. Uh, I do have her rainbowed. Same with V2 Jinbei, actually. So, I don't really have a use for an unevolved copy of the character. That is unfortunate. But, man, we did end up pulling another red, which was pretty cool. Alright, here is our last ticket. Come on. <laughs> I mean, one more red? I mean, always being greedy. I don't think this is going to be red. I'm going to guess it's going to be gold, but let's see what we get. Last ticket is a silver. Okay, well, fair enough. And we get the old school Nami. So, there we go. So, we can actually go ahead and... Uh, show off overall those are our 20 chopper man mission pulls so we did end up getting two reds from the 20 tickets which is pretty good uh, i'm sure you guys are there are probably going to get a red or two along the way as well um so there we go v2 jinbei and v2 boa hancock and we did get some pretty decent rare recruits like smoothie stampede chopper uh, the quick hydrogen's pretty good we did pull the stampede brook a couple of times we did get aladdin as well 3d2 yuzora isn't as good um the dual ivankov and bon clay really really nice unit so overall i can't really complain about that that's not too bad to get a bunch of these units for free especially if you're a beginner player playing one piece treasure cruise getting access to 20 free rare recruits is amazing for your account so make sure you go ahead and do this but anyways i'll catch you guys on day two of the free rare recruit pools all right so now we're on day two of the free multi pools for the fifth anniversary celebration so i mean we'll see what we get obviously you guys know at this point you know only missing one character uh, i've seen a lot of you guys that they've been tweeting me your pulls in Man, some people have been getting some really, really good stuff. I don't know if I mentioned yesterday. I don't know if I forgot to mention. But, um, yeah, if you get a red, it's only characters within the past 12 months of release. That's hella good. That is actually hella, hella good. So, let's see what this free multiple has in store for us today. It would be nice to at least get a red poster. That would be pretty cool. Um, but, look, I'm walking into this not expecting much. So, you know, it is what it is. So, let's see what we get. 
Free multi, day number two. Let's go. Here we, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we got a red. Ten. Okay. 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 Is it time, boys? Is it time? <laughs> Come on. Bring it home. Okay, so far, nothing really great. Okay, treble. Uh, treble uh. Number four. Sentamaru, not great. Man, these rare recruits are not good. I'm not expecting much now. <laughs> All right, we got a red, which is good. I'm so excited that we actually did get one. I was getting kind of worried there. I think the red's number nine. Okay, we got the uh, the Lognami. Number seven, Aladdin. I can't use that. I actually rainbowed him. Number eight, Viola. Okay, he's the red. Come on. Stampede Luffy, please. Stampede Luffy. Please, Stampede Luffy. <sighs> no, no. Ah, oh, damn, dude. Like, that's a really, really, really good pull. Uh, I do have her rainbowed, and I do have a dupe of her. So, I have a dupe of all of the dual legends at the moment. Man, uh, I mean, look, it's cool. It's cool we did get a red. Uh, it's just, yeah, not the one that we we're looking for. Very, very good pull, though. Very, very good pull. Number 10 is Garp. Okay, what do we get on our 11th pull? It's a gold. Just a gold. And that's going to be Kobe. Okay, well, we did get a red, which was pretty exciting. Pretty, pretty cool. Unfortunately, not, uh, not what we were looking for. So, well, it is what it is. So, I guess I'll see you guys on the third day of the free multipulse. And we are back for day number three of the free 10 plus one rare recruit pulls. Uh, let's just go ahead and get into it. You know, you guys already know at this point. But uh, honestly, I would really love to pull the dual unit Sanji and Pudding, who are um, on this banner as well. There's a 1% chance that you can pull them. Would love to get them. They're not like the best unit ever, but it just would be really cool to get them, right? And of course, would be awesome to see a red poster. So let's go ahead and do it. Day three, second last free multi before we move into Kaido. Here we go. Come on, bring it home. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. <laughs> Pretty much what I was expecting today, man. <sighs> no reds. Okay. I'm sure many of you out there probably got heaps of reds, and there's some of you guys that probably got no reds, which is really, really unfortunate. I mean, look, uh, yeah, Sanjin Pudding is what we're hoping for at this point. Hopefully, we can get them. They're a reasonable chance as well. 1% chance for a unit is pretty decent. Um, so, it would be really nice if we could get them. They actually have the smoke animation when you get, like, a hidden character. I believe they actually have that animation. Um, that or a secret red would be pretty freaking hype. So, hopefully, hopefully we can bring it home. So far, this multi hasn't been too great for us here. Number six. Oh, secret! Oh. oh, dude, what a summon. V2 Kokuri, Mr. Slam Jam, you know, perfect timing, perfect timing, Mr. Slam Jam coming through, but man, oh, damn, dude, why are you gonna do me like that? Don't get me too excited over that. I mean, I love seeing my boy Mr. Slam Jam, but look, nah, fam, not today, not today, man. Okay, so come on, can we pull Sanji Pudding? That would be so nice if we could. <sighs> number nine here we go we got two more units left number 10 no we didn't get him we got the 11th coming up here so uh let's see what it is it's a gold and it's going to be not sanji and pudding so there we go that's our day three multi um so we did get a secret red which is pretty exciting unfortunately uh that is a duplicate of v2 katakuri so anyways now we're going to move on to the final free multi pull, which is going to be for day number four. And this is it, guys. Final day, day number four of the free multi pulls. Tomorrow, as of me recording right now, we'll have the Kaido Sugo Fest. The free multi on the Kaido Sugo will be uploaded with the Kaido pull, so that's why I'm uploading this video now. But here we go, guys. This is it. All right, you guys already know at this point. <sighs> I'm not expecting a red now, to be honest. I've seen a lot of people not get reds. I see a lot of people get some pretty crazy multis, though. Um, look, we're only really looking for the two characters that I mentioned previously. Not going to go through that again. I'm just hoping that uh, this fourth multi potentially has something really cool. So, without further ado, let's do it. Let's do it. Last multi. One, 
Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, no reds as I expected. Yeah, pretty much what I expected. Um, but dude, we are really, really hoping to pull that dual unit, Sanji and Pudding. <sighs> Considering it's going to be probably a long time before we see them again in uh, in Treasure Cruise on a banner, so I would really, really love to get them. Uh, though the chances of that happening are not very high. Uh, you know, it's a 1% chance, which actually isn't, like, not... It's, it's pretty good, honestly, for, for a boosted character, but um, it doesn't look like we're going to walk away with them. Uh, another secret red would be pretty high, but again, not really expecting that. We did get that in the in the multi yesterday, but so far, this multi is... Yeah, pretty much what I was expecting heading into this. Harjardin, that's the old Harjardin. Okay, number 9. 20th anniversary now. I mean, the 20th anniversary units all got their support abilities recently, so that's not too bad. And number 10 is going to be Gotti. Okay. And the 11th pull is going to be a gold, which is going to be 20th anniversary Robin. Okay. Well, what's her support ability? Uh, 1.3 conditional boost. Okay. It's not too bad, but... Yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy all these free multi pulls. As I said, let me know down below in the comment section what you guys have pulled from your free multis, and hopefully they were a lot better than the pulls that I got. I mean, I did get some two pretty decent legends in these free multis, but of course, in terms of my account, I don't really need them. But uh, hopefully you guys out there got some good pulls. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and if you guys did, make sure to leave a like, and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.